For the best gaming experience, we recommend optimizing your sound conditions with headphones or speakers. It is also preferable to play the game in full screen mode to optimize graphics quality. What's going on? Where I am? I can't remember. The plane, the turbulence, and then nothing. What is this place? Looks like a creepy old house from the 1980s. Are you feeling better? I'm reassured. You've been asleep for almost two hours. What? Who the hell are you? Why have I been asleep for two hours? What about the plane? Calm down, breathe. I was scared too at first. The plane crashed in the woods, and we jumped out before it hit the ground, hoping the forest branches would break our fall. When I regained consciousness, I was all alone, in the middle of the forest, so I started to run and I saw you, lying on the ground, not moving but breathing, so I pulled you up with my coat. After 20 minutes, I found this house. I was afraid of it, but it was very cold and there were only trees as far as the eye could see, so I decided to go in. And here we are. That's a lot. And my parents? And the other passengers? I'm sorry. I didn't see any other passengers alive. But I'm not sure we should go back outside in this weather. We don't really know what's in these woods. Yes, you're probably right. Let's stay rational and avoid rushing into things. We'll think about it and find a way out. By the way, what's your name? My name's Anna, what's yours? I'm Tom, and I don't think I've ever thanked you for what you've done. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably have frozen to death, or been eaten by whatever creatures we find out there.
Don't worry, it's normal, and it's always better not to find yourself alone in this kind of situation. Yes, of course. Nice to meet you, Anna. Me too, Tom. I'll let you see the house. I did the tour 10 minutes ago. There's nothing to worry about. I'll try to find something to eat somewhere. We'll catch up later. We've probably got lots to talk about in our lives. This is the entrance to the house. It's strange that there's so little furniture for a big room like this. It looks like the haunted houses you see on TV. Even if that's what they say on TV too. This is where I woke up, on the old sofa that probably contains hundreds of germs, in front of a TV I wouldn't turn on for the world. This door is blocked, which is never a good sign, but I won't insist any further, as we don't really know what's behind it. This room must be the dining room of the house. Personally, it doesn't make me very hungry. This whole story doesn't make me very hungry anyway.